to buy a cheap computer. I just literally don't understand why it doesn't work and it has random failure messages for absolutely no reason. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. But anyway, what's what's up, Libra? What's going on? How you doing out there? All my lovely, lovely Libras. Well, Libras, your ruler, Venus, is in Gemini. So, you guys may be getting more vocal about the things that you're passionate about, about the things you feel, about the things that you care about. Maybe you're going to let a love interest interest or make it be known um maybe you and your love interest are going to go public or something or maybe you're going to have a lot of communication with your love interest or maybe you're going to talk to your love interest about how you feel and if, if that's what's going on libra i would recommend you do that because as they say closed mouths don't get fed and the sun is also in venus so that's like man woman you know maybe you guys are also men in relationships with a male figure in your life for um those of you who are out there who are women or men, because that could be a parent, that could be an uncle, that could be a brother, a cousin, um, you know what I'm saying, or it could be like a father, you know, something like that. Or it could be a partner. It could be that too. With Venus and the Sun together, and um, Mars is in Cancer, so that's squaring you. Something may be going on with your energy. Maybe your energy is low. Um, hopefully, you guys aren't having too many any injuries or something going on like that with mars you know mars represents gunfire um energy exertion uh steel so just be careful with things of, of that nature and hurting yourself and stuff like that and maybe uh your energy is a little de depleted for some reason or another um uh, maybe i don't know uh, but let's see what's going on. I have a new deck. These cards represent the planets, the houses, the aspects, and the signs. So we'll see what comes out. I'm still going to be using the um, Rider Waite as always because I love it. And then the Fairy Oracle deck. Now, I already shuffled these two decks. I'm just going to cut them on camera for you guys. Let me take that one. And then we can jump right into it. Of course, um, Saturn and Pluto are still over there. What did I get on my table? Is that candle? I think that's candle. Saturn and Pluto are still retrograding in Capricorn. So that's just going to uh, present obstacles on a world scale, I'm sure. Um, maybe you guys aren't going through it too harshly depending on what's going on in your chart the north node is still in cancer squaring you guys so maybe you guys are still trying to figure out what you really want to do in life your destiny where you want to be and maybe um you're kind of getting stuff together as far as that goes um libra working hard working hard libra maybe financial opportunities have been coming to you so i already shuffled these again i have no idea why i gave them a quick shuffle again because we want to get this video done and post it. Yes, I do. So, let's see what's going on, Libra. <clears throat> oh, Taurus. It's funny, when I was shuffling these cards, like half of the deck had flipped over in my hand and one of the cards was, Li was Libra. So, I felt the strong Venus energy and then you guys have the Taurus card that comes out so you guys are definitely being about your money you may have a love interest you're, you're definitely um interested in the romantic things this month you're interested in things that are beautiful you're interested in having a good time you're interested in love libra you want to love and you want to be loved and what's really funny is pisces came out and I don't know why these don't seem to focus very clearly. But Pisces came out as well. So the funny thing about Taurus and Pisces, like I told you, before I even dealt the cards, when I was shuffling this deck, that was the only deck I didn't shuffle. So I was shuffling off camera. And the the deck flipped over in my hand and Libra showed. It didn't fall or anything. Sometimes I will take fallouts or jumping cards or something like that. So I said, hey, I'll turn that back over. We'll see if it comes out. So the Libra didn't come out, but your other sign that you share the, your ruler with Venus, so the other Venus sign, Taurus, 
did come out and then um, Pisces did come out and Venus is exalted in Pisces. So lots of um, focus um, in mid-June for you guys and in June and, and going forward about what makes you secure materially things that are beautiful, love, increasing the love in your life from your family, your friends, your significant can other maybe you guys are ready to get into partnerships maybe you guys are looking for new places for homes um maybe there's a material item that you really want to get and maybe you want to work on your appearance maybe there's something physically about your appearance that you guys are working on as well but we'll take a closer look at those cards and we'll see what's coming out yeah you guys are definitely looking to have some good fortune because you're tired of being tucked away you're tired of keeping to yourself you want to be social you want to engage in conversation you want to be seen for who you are you don't want to be sitting back in the cut letting life pass you by and that's a um that's a, a great thing libra that's a really really good thing so i'm 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 i am suspecting that june it may be a busier month uh, for you than some of the other months have been up until this point where you're really wanting to get out of out there be social and things of that nature not that Libra isn't usually social but maybe things in your situation are better than they had been when before you were in let me deal these three cards before I say what I'm gonna say oh that five of springs had come out Oh, that's it too. And I shuffled. I shuffled this deck. But we're going to go with it. Because Jim and I got the awakening. And I did a reading for myself in between readings. And I got that. But we'll, we'll talk about it. So you're coming out of a period of stagnation. And just really thinking to yourself. Making plans. Maybe you guys were having to work on something substantial. Something with your finances. Something with your health. Maybe you guys had been preoccupied with work. Or whatever situation you were in. It didn't. It doesn't have to be necessarily work like this card to me, the hermit. And I said I wasn't taking any reversals. So I'm going to turn this right side up. In Gemini's reading, I did say I wasn't taking any reversals. And I forgot to say that in your reading. I was so busy talking. But this could represent being tucked away, be, being hidden away. A lot of times when we see the Hergo, hermit, this represents the card of Virgo. So you could have Virgo associated things going on in your life. You could be getting advice from a, a Virgo person or Virgo-like person. Maybe there's an older um, person in your life. Maybe you're getting advice from a parent or something like that. Or you're associated with a Virgo in some sort of way. But uh, the thing about that card is when I think about the Hermit, I always, when I see the Hermit card, I always think about monks. So people that's been locked away in some sort of religious asylum maybe even j jail you know i know a libra that's recently come out of jail so just being oh and it doesn't matter where it is it's just a place of solitary solitude a place of confinement a place of um being sort of cast away either by choice or by force it could be either way and it's give, giving you a lot of time to gain knowledge and to gain wisdom and to really think about things think about the past maybe think about some mistakes you made and think about your losses because you may have gone through a situation where you just can't find satisfaction in what you have on your plate now maybe you feel like you lost out on an option or something isn't good enough and you're comparing it to something in your past but the thing is coming out of this mental anguish moving into a time of of confronting your fears confronting the issues and acknowledging your mistakes um is going to bring you good fortune but it could go either way because it all depends on what i'm what i'm already seeing um, with the theme between Gemini and Libra. I started with Gemini because it's their birthday month, but um, I'm not going in any particular order. The next sign that popped in my head to do was um, Libra. So Libra, you may face oppositions. Like you may face, and you may notice this is a recurring theme in your life. You may face, because um, you got the opposition card. So you may often face people, and what I notice about Libras is you may face people who have opposing opinions. You may face people who don't agree with you. And what I notice about Libras a lot of times, as I always say, I got a lot of Libras that are co close to me. You guys always are good. You're good 
And, and well, let me not say good, because whether it's good or bad, it just depends on the Libra who it is. You guys are really good with coming up with an opposing argument. I'll say it like that. You're really good with if somebody says one thing, then you're really good with saying, well, but, you know, you're really good with shall I dare say, just making excuses. And it's not always excuses all the time. I don't know if that's the correct word, but it's it's like you're good with having counter arguments because you are the sign of balance, quote unquote, fairness and justice and all of that stuff. But what I find about the signs, this is with every sign. So what I find about your sign is the thing that you stand for usually is the thing that you have the most challenges with. So yes, a lot of Libras are involved in law. They're, they are involved in politics. They're involved. You probably will find a lot of heavy placements in um, judges' charts and lawyers' charts and things like that um, with Libra. Teachers as well with Libra are things that, that, that require you to make an analytical decision. But with the thing, the thing with Libra is sometimes you have an argument or opposing view or comeback or an opinion just for the sake of having one. You don't always sit and analytically think about something. Look at your situation and look at what you're going through. Look at what's playing out in your life. Look at the people you're arguing with. Look at the people you're opposing. Sit back like when you look at this, this represents the hangman, basically the awakening card and awakening card says change the way you're looking at the situation. Embrace your, your uniqueness, a temporary pause in action. Sometimes you guys are so quick to come back with an argument or a uh, a, something that justifies your stance or how you think that you're really not open to um, different viewpoints. You're really not being um, unbiased. You you really are not seeing both sides of an issue. You really are not being just and fair when that is what you're, you're supposed to be as a Libra. You represent the justice card. But as I said, with every single card, I mean, with every single zodiac sign, I usually find what your sign is known for or is said to be or what you represent is usually what you have the biggest challenge with in your life. So with Libra, you're very mental. And yes, you're thinking things through your head all the time. And like they said, Libra makes fair and balanced decisions. But a lot of times you have a hard time making this decision because you, and if this, 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 the decisions that you do make, you notice they don't solve your problems. You have to go through something over and over again before you get it. It's because you don't take the time to fall back, go with your heart, find the balance between your heart and your mind, and then face your oppositions from a period of awakening nine times like they say insanity is where you do the same thing over and over and expect different results if you are coming up with the same responses the same rigid way of thinking i find that a lot of times Lib libras can have a rigid way of thinking they are very open-minded to others viewpoints and opinions they they think that they're they're essentially always right and they may talk to you in a, in a way where it's like no they're reasoning with you and irrationalizing with you but a lot of times you guys are just trying to get your way of thinking across without really taking in someone else's in a high a libra operating from a higher um, point a higher echelon of their being they're not going to be like that a libra is going to go inside take time to consider what somebody else is saying run it through your mind and then run it through your heart and then come back and face your oppositions in that way so that you can have the peace and harmony that you're due that, that you deserve to have the elements of taurus and libra represent peace in harmony, having a certain level of intuition and a spiritual ground grounding and knowing, not um arguing or having a comeback for the sake of arguing or having a comeback or for the sake of being difficult. A lot of times air signs, period, because you are so mental and you think of things and you guys do have a lot of data and information. But you don't know how to use it and you don't know how to apply it. You forget you got to There's feelings out there. There's emotions that you have to be intact with. And there are people out there that may know more than you. There are people out there who are actually wise. It's not about just the data. And when I see the zodiac signs of Taurus and, and Pisces, Pisces um, representing the higher the higher vibration of a Taurus and Libra through the exaltation of Venus, it tells me someone who is wise, not just smart, 
not just someone who has data, but someone who is wise and someone who is spiritually in tune. And it, it's not all about all about intellect. And I think Libra, if you approach the situations in that way in these months coming, you'll find. And actually for Libra, I am going to take this hermit in reverse because I think you will be open enough. I think you will be confronting some differences that you have with other people and then getting into a place of peace. And, and you want to come outside your mind so much. And you want to have, you want to find uh, the peace. You may be going back. I'm seeing a, a lot of things on the cards that have to do with thinking, decisions. You guys are having a hard time making a decision. You may be juggling uh, different things. You may be involved like uh, in sports like basketball and things like that too. And you may be trying to get your health together in regards to things like that. Because you got the two of autumn. It says bring fun into everything you do. Juggling multiple multiple priorities or jobs and exceptional talent for multitasking so you guys may have different talents that you're in, interested in some of you may be working two or three jobs and it could have been affecting your health and um, you're trying to figure out a way to consolidate to find your center and then follow what you really want to do so in this month of june as we go into cancer season whoop, whoop, as we go into july july a lot of what I'm seeing so far between the Gemini reading that I've done and the Libra reading I've done is finding your passion. Finding it is because Le Gemini got the awakening card too and I shuffled the deck. Uh, and even say there was some mis mix up and I didn't shuffle the deck, which I did. Um, I put the cards back in the middle of the deck. I never put them on the top. And this was like, this was the second card I drew. So there's no way it would have ended up as a second card. I would have never put it back in the deck as the second card. I never put them back on the top. So I shuffled this deck. You got the same card. So it's about finding what is going to make you happy. Finding your inner peace. Maybe it, you need a do-over. Maybe you need a redo. Maybe you have thought something through and you figure out where your happiness is and you need to approach it that way. But in the meantime, I feel like you have a lot of inner thoughts and oppositions and you may be juggling different things but I don't see that there's necessarily satisfaction with um, those different things. Again, some of you um, I have a Libra friend, he's really into basketball. Some of you may be into basketball what's really funny is this is the two of pentacles and a lot of times what will happen is I'll do a reading so I automatically just spit out to you guys what I see and what I feel when I deal the cards. I don't take a lot of time to look at them or anything like that. And then say I'll get up from the table after each reading. I may go get something to eat. I may sit down for a second. I may go use the bathroom. And then other things start to come to me about that, those readings. And um, I'm going to start to make the, ex if you want to, actually not going to start to, Readings are available on my page. They aren't the extended ones. I'm going to put up extended ones because a lot of insights come after I think about these cards and, and, and on everything on my, on my dead daddy, I was thinking about the two of pentacles and it was something that had tied into, to a reading that I did. And I, I said, you know, that could be sports, a juggling of balls, a bouncing of balls. And I thought of basketball and this was earlier this morning, around five, six o'clock this morning. I'm doing this reading on Monday, June, the 10th around 12 o'clock p.m. And then I get the two of autumn, which is the, the two of pentacles. It's just different in the fairy or oracle deck. And it talks about fun, balancing multiple priorities. So some of you guys may be into sports, specifically basketball, or you may just be juggling um, several different things. And you may really be giving some deep thought into um, what you really want to do and what direction you really want to go in. And there you, you have a lot of opposition and you have some antagonistic things that are going on. So you can't make up your mind. It's like you're not satisfied with anything or you're just not, not feeling like the, the current situation is 100% okay. So, and I feel like it's more so between two people and relationships and whatever it is that you're passionate about or that you do for your spare time. And maybe not your main job, but like your side job or for those of you that are juggling like two or three jobs maybe you're thinking how to condense those down into one job because you may be tired and you may be having some health issues and just need a break because of it and I'm going to read what's on this opposition card but you may be having some fights and some oppositions maybe you're dealing with a Taurus and a Pisces 
Maybe you guys are dealing with the Taurus and the Pisces and you're at odds with them. Maybe they're fighting over you, Libra. Maybe you got something going on with more than one person. You're juggling more than one relationship. So you just want to be careful with that because I do see minor fights and arguments. Like I said, Mars is opposing your sign right now. Um, it's in um, Cancer. So... It's not opposing. It's squaring your sign right now, which can be even a little, a little bit more difficult than the opposition. I would say squares are more different from, from our opposition just because it's something that comes from the side. So it's something that e easily figured out. Maybe you have someone or you're dealing with people where it's not easily figured out. And you're like, OK, I'm not making a decision on any of these people because they're they're what I'm trying to see in them or however your mind is thinking Libra the light bulb has not gone off for you yet where you can make a final decision between these people because Mars and Cancer it's a Cancer is a square to your sign so Mars is squaring you so that's a lot about that energy that's causing those arguments and maybe some delays and some antagonistic thoughts and, and experiences that you're having with other people so you may be coming into minor conflict flicks, fights and just a disagreement of opinions period you could have a Taurus and Pisces mother sister brother cousin aunt uncle um these are women so these are either probably two women that you're dealing with women out there you could take it as two men that you're dealing with there may be some Taurus uh, some Libras out there that are dealing with Tauruses and Pisces or these could be the bosses at your job or someone some someone who you are uh, obliged to or you have some sort of relationship with and um or you may want to get into things like I talked about that are more about your beauty, um, your health. You may be thinking about having kids, um, being practical, grounding yourself more than you are usually grounded with the earth side of Venus. So not getting your card out and having the earth side come out. You could be trying to decide, look, who's loyal? Who deserves my time and attention? Who deserves to have a relationship with me? You guys may be wanting to start a family and really plant your feet and roots on the ground. And you you are looking for somebody that you can heal with, you can be spiritual with, you can grow with. But again, don't be illogical. One of the words on the Pisces card, Pisces is known as the mystic and Taurus in this deck is known as the bombshell. You may be dealing with something that somebody that you're very attracted to and you're trying to make a decision, you know, or you're trying to let them know how you feel. But um, don't keep it in your head. Don't stay in a dreamy and in a practical state. You need to let people know and have the conversations with people. Because until you do and you get these things straight, you're going to stay in a state of opposition where you're not necessarily getting what you want or you feel what you want is somewhat out of reach. The key to getting what you want this month is to talk about it, to have a conversation, to sit with someone down and say, this is how I feel. Let's talk about this to make it known. If you never do it, you will never know what what, had, what could have been the possibilities. And until you do that, you're going to be off balance. This opposition, the key word on the opposition is balance. I said relates, mirrors, interacts, comforts, makes conscious, manifests, disciplines, conflicts with, tests, objectifies, and calls out. People reflect back to you what you reflect. That's why I was saying when you come at people with just your intelligent answers and you don't put a lot of feeling into it, you, you're going to stay in a combative energy. If you're wondering why sometimes you don't get the reaction from people that you're looking for, you need to go deeper within yourself and bring something deeper to the table because a lot of times you Libras can stay very much on the surface, but you have feelings that go very deep, but you don't always show that and that, that you need to come into balance. So I did not get the Libra card, but the opposition card, which is an aspect in astrology, it definitely talks about balance. Definitely talks about balance. And right now, with um, the North Node being in Cancer, Mars being in Cancer, you need to balance your energies and find a middle ground to where you can relate to other people. And then you had the five of spring, which is the five of wands. And that talks about opposing goals arising from differing opinions, feeling at odds with yourself or others, overly ambitious people. Now, there's many cards in this deck. You guys see how thick this deck is. Even though I just got from me, I mean, I forget in a second. I never memorize the words on these cards, but I know what the cards are. So I know when I see this, what it is and what it represents. But reading this card, you know, it's the... the 
My tarot readings are, are, are always on point, guys. I'm telling you, messages come through that sometimes I can't even believe or anticipate because this talks about differing of opinions, um, combat, being combated, um, dealing with overly ambitious people. So you may realize um, that maybe something is hindering your ambitions. You're not overly ambitious right now, but other folks may be overly ambitious. And if you don't hop on a train, you're gonna miss the you're gonna miss the boat. You got to drive the boat, Libra. You got to drive the boat and take control. And um, just talking about opposing goals and different opinions. And you will find that when you open your ears and close your mouth to listen to what someone else has to say, and then you really take that in and ponder on that and take it to heart, you will find that you will be more open to others' opinions and senses of wisdom, Libra. And to have wisdom marry with your level of knowledge, I mean, it's, it's just so invaluable. It'll take you to heights that you have never reached before. So Libra, I wish you the best in mid-June and the months going forward. Um, if you guys um, want to contact me, you can hit me up at the email addresses, email addresses that'll be in the description box below. Make sure you visit the website, uh, Earth. A sky, Earth Sky Star. There are uh, definitely going to be products and things we're constantly uploading to the website for you guys. The link is in the description box. And make sure you like, share, subscribe to the video, and comment. I'm always interested to hear if this reading resonated with you, how it resonated with you, or how it didn't resonate with you. If nothing resonated with you and you got nothing out of it, say it in the comments. I won't be offended at all. You know, I'm always open to um, what you guys have to say. And I try to reply to most of my comments. So um, if you guys could jump down in the comments, let me know what's going on with you. Let's have a little conversation, um, make things fun, spice it up around here and hit me in my email. If it's something personal that you guys want to discuss or you're interested in a reading and again, visit the website earthskystar.com. And I love you guys and I'm out of here, Libra. Make it a great, great day.